Welcome to another Get a Clue, Casual Gamer. Today we are going to be looking at a game called Pandemic Hot Zone. Uh, I want to point out that there are a lot of pandemic games out there. It came out, the original base game, pandemic game, came out years ago, way before what we're going through now. So it has nothing to do with the current pandemic. Um, but it was such a good game that they kept on coming out with newer or, or different scenarios. And um, I happen to own the base game, the original game, and two of the scenarios that are, uh, one is Fall to Rome and the other one is Rising Tide. But both of, especially Rising Tide, they say don't play that one until you've mastered Pandemic by itself. Uh, because apparently it's tough. I have not played it because I have not played Pandemic enough for me to feel that I want to do that. And I have to have the right kind of people to play it with. I can't just play it with anybody because it's going to be a tough one. But P Pandemic Hot Zone North America came out in 2020 and it's my current favorite of the four pandemics I have because it is simpler and quicker and I can bring it to the table more often. So we are going to get a clue about Pandemic Hot Zone North America, okay? And I'm gonna talk about some of the others in comparison, but for now, we are going to get a clue, see, L-U-E about Pandemic Hot Zone North America. First of all, C, components. What do you find when you open up that box? What's in that box? Well, first of all, you're going to come up, you're going to find 48 or 16 of each color of these cute clear plastic cubes. Aren't they cute? Whole bunch. And those are going to represent the d three different diseases. Okay, red, yellow, and blue. The three diseases in this game. They don't name them, they're just diseases. And then um, you'll find three cure markers. When you cure one, you put this marker on the board to show that you've cured it and it no longer can hurt you. You will find four marker people markers because it's a game for two to four players. And you will find a infection rate marker and a an outbreak marker. Okay, these all have something to do on the board. You will also find um <laughs> Four character cards, so you pick who you want, uh, two, three, or four players, and you pick who you want. You'll These are the uh, player helper cards. You'll find these in there as well to help you uh, with the different steps in the game. You're going to find the infection cards, and this, these are the cards that tell you where an infection has, there's an outbreak. From, of an infection. There are three epidemic cards, four, I think, yep, four event cards. There are 24 city cards, okay, 24 city cards, and seven crisis, yes, yeah, seven crisis cards. Now the crisis cards are not used unless you want to make the game a little tougher. After you've played it several times, you go, let's try it a, a little bit harder. And so we'll add a cri you know, crisis to the game and that can show up and make it a little bit more difficult for us. But then of course you'll have the rule book 
and the board. Notice the board is folded up into a nice small, nice small <laughs> board, but it opens up and there you have North America and a little bit of the Caribbean there. Okay, you know, we have Havana and Santo Domingo um, attached to Miami and uh, Mexico City, Ciudad de Mexico, Guadalajara, in New Orleans. Yeah, so anyway, this is, you know, of course, you go all the way up to Toronto, Montreal. So we have, this is the board. Okay, that's the entire board. You have infection, you have cure, you have the different cities. This is the, uh-oh, the, <laughs> what is it? That's the, um, mm -hmm. the, the outbreak marker. Yeah, this is the infection, this is the outbreak. Okay, so anyway, components. C, that's what you're gonna find inside your box. Now, my box, I've kind of added a little something and this is my, my um, hint for you. If you find yourself with a lot of games that have a lot of little pieces to them to keep track of, I and many others <laughs> use these little um, silicone cupcake holders. I have three here, one for each color. I didn't have any yellow ones, so the green holds the yellow uh, oh, you know, disease cubes. And uh, that way they're color coordinated and red, yellow, and blue. Um, and that way I can put these little cubes in there while we're in play. And they it easily fits in the box with everything. And it's just a helpful hint. Uh, if you have some around, or you can buy a pack of a whole bunch for, you know, five dollars on that online store that starts with a name. Um, but that's a little hint for when you're, you realize that you're playing game, you're starting to play games that have a lot of little pieces to them. Those help keep them from getting lost on the table, or on the floor, or in your cat or dog's stomach. You don't want that. Okay, so those are the components. Length of play. This one, about a half hour. Okay? It's it's shorter than the full uh, regular pandemic game, which says it would last around 45 minutes, which is about right. Um, but the hot zones last about a half hour. And that's why I like this. Again, this was... Hot Zone North America. There's also a Hot Zone Europe. So if you prefer to get one that's Europe instead of North America, there is a Hot Zone Europe that came out, Pandemic Hot Zone Europe, came out this year, 2021. So you have a choice of both. And we'll get to availability and price and when we get to E. So length, around 30 minutes. Uniqueness, well, you are, I'm trying to think of a, another, you, you will be creating sets so that to combat, to uh, get rid of uh, an, a disease, you will need to have sets of cards. So any game that had sets in it, um, the game itself with these outbreak cards are, this is a, a is as if the game is getting you. It's a gotcha aspect of the game. Um, oh, I didn't mention, this is a cooperative game. The humans that are playing it are playing together to get rid of the diseases before the game kills everybody, <laughs> okay? So what the, the goal is to eradicate the diseases before these outbreak cards uh, take over the, the North America, in this case, or the world in the full pandemic. So um, uniqueness, you're, you're, you're going against 
you're, you're working together cooperative and I've I've talked about cooperative games before so some of my older videos will also include some cooperative games um, but you are playing against the game everyone is working together to beat the game so mass market wise I know no game like that the non-mass market the newer games there are quite a few cooperative games out there because companies realize that people really like them and they they want to work together and those games sell well and so they've been coming up with more and more cooperative games so this is a cooperative game and um and that's under U for uniqueness, E for ease. How easy is it to learn, teach, play? How easy is it to find? How easy is it to, on your pocketbook? Okay, easy to learn, teach, play. Rule book. The front is all the components. That was my cheat sheet when I was showing you all these different little things. The rules are that. Now, um, crisis cards are only if you want to make it diff more difficult. Fine points, these are little details or whatever that aren't necessarily needed to play the game, but it gives a nice little uh, background and stuff. The, um, it takes you step by step. It tells you how to set up the key concepts, the player turns, what you do, the, um, and then give examples so that you can see what these examples are like. Um, the, next, the second step, the third step, and then the chain reaction and turn end, and then losing and winning. It is obviously a little bit more complicated than some of the other games but because you're working cooperatively what one person might not have grasped another one realizes and notices so it's really not that hard it sounds harder and because it's got so many different little pieces it looks that it, it would be harder yes it's harder than low down dice where you're just throwing dice and writing down a number. Yes, it's more difficult than that, but you know, checkers is more difficult than that, than tossing some dice on a table. Um, if you do it right, if you do it with, you know, things, it's not anywhere near like chess. I mean, it's far closer to checkers than chess, let's say that difficult wise maybe it's kind of like backgammon okay kind of like backgammon level of intensity so it really is not the easiest to learn teach play but it's not anywhere near the hardest nor even hard for that matter and what I like is on the front and on the back, there's a QR code. If you prefer to watch a video showing you how to play the game, you can click, you put your phone camera on that and it will take you to a video to show you how to play the game so you don't have to do all of this reading, which is very nice. A lot of new games have that option for you. Um, so it's easy. It's not the easiest, but it's if, if you want to work together with a group of friends or family, I mean, they say eight and up. So it's not, we're not talking, you know, you have to be a teenager to be able to play this game. It is, depending on your child and if there are adults in the mix, or at least teenagers in the mix, it's doable, it's easy, and it's a half hour. It's not a three hour game. It's not even a two hour. It's not Monopoly uh, lengthwise. You actually have 
activity that you're doing and you're looking and you're seeing and you can participate together. So ease, not as easy, but not as hard. Easy to find, yes. Um, though, when I went on to my three or four favorite places online to check availability, uh, Target did not have the hot zones. It has all of the more expensive pandemics. It has the regular, it has the Fall of Rome and the legacies. Um, legacy for uh, those who are learning, you know, are, are a casual gamer. When you hear a game has legacy on it, that means it's a one-time play through, but it could take you there's lots of different scenarios and it takes you step by step by step through all these scenarios. Some of them will have 12, like we'll do one a month for a year and that it'll take you an hour or two to do one and you have the 12, but once you're done, you're done. And that game can no longer be played again. It's done. Um, so I'm not big on legacy games because I want to be able to keep on playing. Plus, they're not cheap. Um, manufactured retail can be 80, 100 plus dollars. Whereas the, the base game that can be played over and over and over and over again, um, the manufactured price is $45, uh, the retail price. But... Amazon today, right now, the day that I'm filming this, has it the base game at $22 and change. So it's like half price right now on um, Amazon. And, and apparently Walmart online is also showing it at $22 and change. So um, if you're watching this and you're interested in the full base game, $22. But we're talking about pandemic hot zone North America. Well, again, Target doesn't have that. But Walmart does and Amazon does. And I am sure your local, uh, friendly local game store does as well because pandemic is extremely popular. So uh, I will tell you, Walmart and Amazon right now, today, right this moment, has hot zone, pandemic hot zone, North America for $14, $14, right now, right now. Um, that's excellent price. The Europe costs, at Amazon, it costs $20, and at Walmart online, it costs twenty-three dollars, and that's closer to the the retail price. I, I think the retail price is supposed to be twenty. So whoever's selling it through the Walmart website um, is charging a little bit more, <clears throat> and it's being charged full price on Amazon. North America is the one that's on sale for fourteen dollars. So, yeah. You know, if it interests you, now's the time to go and check and get and check out the price. And again, easy on the pocketbook, $14 for all of this. And the oh, let me get all these little plastic pieces together. I mean, all these plastic pieces, all of these cards that are all of these cards, cards the rule book, more cards, and the board, $14. That is as easy on the pocketbook as you're going to get. Because you're going to pay more than that for Connect Four. I mean, really, you're going to spend more than that. So, ease on the pocketbook, excellent. And that is getting a clue about Pandemic, Hot Zone, North America. There's also the pandemic hot zone Europe, if you prefer Europe. It costs a little bit more right now, but depends on where you're shopping and where you are, you might find it cheaper, especially if you're in Europe and you're watching this. The Europe one will probably be the one on sale and the North America one might be a little bit more. 
but I think it's probably because Europe just came out in 2021, whereas North America came out in 2020. And so most of the people who knew about this already had bought it. And so now they're trying to sell it, whereas the Europe one is new and not everyone has bought it yet. And so they're trying to get more, more money for it. Either way, great price for a great game, a lot of fun, and um, that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful time picking out a new game. Check out all the other videos and see which ones might interest you. But this one was Getting a Clue About Pandemic Hot Zone, North America. God bless you. Have a wonderful time and happy gaming. Bye.